Hello folks, this is Bronwyn with Big Sky Diamond Painting. Today I am going to be unboxing a couple things from AliExpress, the Mayan store, as well as showing you some of my finished paintings that I've done lately. Um, this one you've already seen if you watched my intro video. It is a 30 by 30 from, I'll put the name here. It is a gift for my sister, so I got it framed. Just found a cheap uh, 12 point two five or five. I think it was a 12.25 inch frame at Walmart and put it in there and it was just the perfect size um, because it is a 30 by 30 and it's so the overlap of the frame for that like extra little bit was just enough to leave a little bit of stuff so just the diamonds are in the frame. Um, so I did have to put black electrical tape around the outside to um, make it so the edge wasn't showing, but I think it turned out really good. And I now I just need to uh, wrap it, pad it, and pad it, and get it in a box along with some other things I have for my niece and my dad and send it to my sister whose birthday is the 17th so by the time this gets uploaded this may even be past her birthday and this is going to definitely be late so um next thing is this little tiny painting from diamond art club that i just finished i did this at work between calls and it took me a little over one day because i did technically start it at home but like I did you know like this much of the green before I took it to work this is a 17 by 17 centimeter round with a B's these little blue accents at the corners of the eyes and I have nothing but good things to say about this painting because even with the tiny tiny painting Diamond Art Club has done a freaking amazing job at charting this. I mean, look at this. It's wonderful. I would love to do this at a bigger size, maybe like a 30 by 30, um, because I think that would look really good at like this size, maybe even a square. Um, but I mean, look, this, this sparkles so much, I cannot get over it. And then like it almost sparkles so much that you don't notice the ABs but they do like just this little pop of shimmerness like all over it so i'm just gonna get it you get you up real close there and this is the eve is it or is it i don't know how you pr pronounce the last name but she is the artist that did these um you've seen my unboxing already with sneaky cat and the other two paintings by her that i got but um despite the small size I'm just like super impressed um I was a little disappointed at first because again I did not look at the size or if I did I didn't think about how small that actually was so I was like wow really like <laughs> this is so small um and I probably wouldn't have ordered this for myself but I'm glad that I got it on the BOGO because it is spectacular so we have that and then we have one more small painting that I did at work. This is the Bulbasaur from Yahua store. And um, it is 15 by 20 centimeters. I don't have a measuring tape up here, so I can't tell you if it's true to size. But let me see here. I am going to go ahead and say that it's approximately true to size because the 17 drill area looks to be about 2 centimeters bigger. So... Um, I like this one. I didn't have too many troubles. I did, you know, have to slice the, the bubbles that you might have seen if you saw my unboxing of the Yahua store stuff. But I think it did turn out good. Their drills are pretty nice. Um, I probably won't buy from them if I can help it. I did see an unboxing that Diamond Painting by Donnie did. Um, with a Black Panther canvas, I think, 
that was a similar thing to this. It wasn't the watercolor, but it was like that chibi artwork with like a white background. And it was also square, but like she had a lot of issues with the canvas itself. You know, there were puckers and things. And the thing about the small ones I got, there were no puckers or anything that I needed to worry about. But it did, like as soon as it came off the roller, it started to bubble and wrinkle. And... I just think the adhesive that they use is not very good. Their round drills are fine. The square drills are terrible. They pop like crazy. The aerial that I did in my intro video is the same. It's basically the same type of thing, but the square version from Yuhua, and they pop like terrible. Like I have six more of these in the square version that I don't know when I'm going to get to. Um, I think I'm going to buy, go online and try to buy some good quality 5200s in square. So if you know where I can get some good quality drills, please leave it in the comments below because I think I can deal with doing the colors in kind of popping stuff, but the 5200s are, there's just too many of them on the squares. And also, I think the, the light colors are even worse for popping. Like, I know that dark colors, I think, tend to be worse with trash in them. Although, I've seen, you know, like, at least in Diamond Art Club, some of the, like, magenta pinks and stuff tend to have more of the little flash with the little, the little round bits and stuff. But I think that's just because... In the darker colors, it's harder to sort out the trash, but for some reason, the drills, like the light colored square drills, are the ones I have the most problems with when it comes to popping. They have the most size variation and they are most likely to be huge compared to other drills, other, you know, the other right sized drills. So that's what I'm gonna do. So again, if you have a good source, for some square drills, 2.5 millimeter square drills, please leave that in the comment section because I need to buy, um, if we assume that, well, okay, I don't have a number on here, but if we assume that I, I need like, oh, uh, you know, six bags, six 200 bags for each of these, you know, six to 10 probably per painting, that's, going to be quite a few. So anyway, those are my finished paintings. Um, I got a couple paintings that came from the Mayan store. I did take them out of their packaging, but they just came in like that, uh, you know, plastic that's not really a garbage bag, but is like a really thick garbage bag material almost with the shipping label. You, you guys all know what it is. It's just a bag. Um, in these two boxes, they are pretty squooshed. You can see they got squooshed and you know the the flaps have not survived. I don't know if that's because they were handled in the like in the packing process or what but there you have it. So we'll go with this one first. Now these are a couple partials I got because actually we're going to do the other one first. These are a couple partials I got on AliExpress because I got a coupon from the Mayan store. And I have been wanting to try them, but I didn't want to spend the money to get like one of the big full drill paintings that has special things. So I just got a couple of these cheaper partials. So this is the kit that it comes with. They come with two kits. I don't know why they do that, but I... Alrighty, so this is actually take three of me trying to film this unboxing. Um, so you're not going to get to see the unboxing part. Um, my phone kept not wanting to catch everything because of storage issues. Um, I hadn't figured out how to use my SD card. And now I have, so we should not have that issue anymore, thankfully, because I can't get a, a new camera right now. I don't quite have enough money, and, well, actually, you know what, I do have a camera. I just don't have a lazy arm that works with it. So, 
I will look into that. But anyway, so for now we have this partial 40 by 50 from Mayan store on AliExpress. It is nine colors. We have three special shapes. One is these cute little stars, which are on the little spires. And then we have my favorites, the little AB pearls. We have orange and white. And we have six colors of rhinestones. So there is red and gold, or like orangey yellow, purple, blue, green, and sort of a teal. And um, as I said in my previous attempts at this video, um, this is that Russian church, I think it's a church, that I have always loved, like this colorful, these colorful spires and everything. I've kind of loved that. I think I just love colorful buildings. And so I had been looking for a painting I liked, and I decided to go with this one because it has a pretty sky. It's a partial, and I think that the sparkles will do really good with it. So I think this one's going to be awesome has the gold frame around it, which I also really like. I may still frame it, but if I do, it's going to be something really simple. And, you know, this will function as a quote-unquote mat. And, yeah, that is it, because that is going to be a super quick. Because, again, this is my third time trying to film this, and I don't want to go through the whole thing again. Um, just a quick, it's, it's sticky, but not in between where the drills are supposed to be. They did a pretty good job getting the glue right where, just where it's supposed to be. And I think it's gonna turn out really well. This is the second one I got, also a 40 by 50 partial with special shapes from Man Store. And this is a carousel unicorn. This one has 13 colors. There are five, yeah, five special drills. Um, two of them just have one. They're these two round glass looking cabochons. The big one goes down here on a buckle and then the small one goes right here. And then in addition to those we have some little mint colored stars which go here and here and then we have some blue teardrops and then some clear teardrops with some Aurora Borealis on them. And I really like that color because it's kind of rainbowy looking. Then we have eight colors of rhinestones that go on this. So we've got an emerald green and a pink and a lavender and a purple and a dark purple and yellow and then more of like an orangey gold yellow and then two bags of clear so I think this one is going to turn out really well as well I'm not um, sure when I'm going to get to these I kind of want to just dive in right now but I'm working on a painting for my partner of a grumpy sphinx cat thumbnail in here so you can see how silly it is I'm not super enjoying it but it's not popping and it's a square so at least I've got that it's from some really random store on AliExpress that I don't know the name of so I will look that up and put it here and anyway I just really like these partials they are very nice and I just wanted to try out me in store when I had the coupon. So I did. 
that is all for me. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, you can check out my channel and also hit the subscribe button. And you can hit the bell if you like to be notified when I upload a new one. I tend to not hit the notifications because who needs more notifications, but it does, especially if you primarily watch on your computer, um, sometimes you'll like miss videos because of the YouTube algorithm, so it's kind of just up to you. Um, I just tend to go to people's channels and see, okay, what did I miss? That works for me. So anyway, um, all you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, night whatever time you're watching this and I hope to see you back here at Big Sky Diamond Painting and I'll catch you on the flip side.